Hey guys, so this video is a little bit of a different style video for me. I'm going to be creating a card using a sketch. And one of the things I'm totally notorious for is drawing sketches on my iPad and then never using them. They never see the light of day. I just sketch them because I'm bored. Well, this year, my goal is to kind of throw out there one sketch each month and I'm going to try to create as many cards as possible from that one sketch. And my hope is that you guys will play along with me. I'll put all the details on my blog, but the card sketch that I created that I'm going to be using for January is this sketch. And I will put a link down in the bottom description bar so that if you guys want to join in, like I said, I'll have all the details on my blog, you can. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. To start off, I've pulled out my um, Big Shot and I'm using the large stitched rectangle die from Lawn Fawn and I'm die cutting some watercolor paper that I'm going to use as the, the front panel of my card. I'm using my powder tool to make sure I don't get embossing powder stuck everywhere because I'm going to be doing some stamping and some heat embossing. I've centered that die cut image on the front of a, uh, my card base. I believe it, the color is Blackberry Bliss by Stampin' Up. And I have an Argyle stamp from Lawn Fawn. And I'm going to stamp it over the card base because I want those little lines at the bottom to continue onto the white main piece that I'm going to watercolor in a few minutes. After I finish embossing and heat setting my um, Argyle image, I'm going to be doing some watercoloring, except I'm not going to be using traditional watercolor paints. I'm actually going to be using ink pads. And I have three colors of ink. Uh, one is Soft Sky, one is Primrose Petals, and the other one is Old Olive. They're all Stampin' Up! colors. The Primrose Petals color, I'm pretty sure, has been discontinued. It was an ink color a couple of years ago but the color Melon Mambo looks incredibly similar. Now by squeezing the ink pads, I can actually get some ink on the lid and use the lid as a palette. To turn the colors into watercolors, I'm just squeezing some water from my Aqua Painter into the lid of the ink pad and I'm just going to alternate the colors I use in each of the embossed blocks, making sure that none of the colors uh, touch each other as I go across. They'll end up touching each other uh, in a downward pattern, but they don't touch each other in the horizontal direction. Once I finish painting in all of the individual blocks, I'm going to set this watercolor piece aside and let it air dry. Because I've already heat embossed this with gold, I can't accelerate the drying process with my heat tool, otherwise I would end up melting the embossing powder. But after it dried for a couple of hours, I just used tape runner adhesive to adhere it to my card base, and then I was ready to stamp my greeting. Now, originally I had planned to simply stamp my greeting using Encore um, gold ink, but unfortunately the greeting looked relatively flat on the card, so I decided to just grab some gold embossing powder while the ink was still wet and heat set it with my heat tool. I decided that the card needed a little more bling on it, so I'm adhering some small sequin stars with some glossy accent to the front. And then I took my Wink Estella pen and I colored in each of the blocks so that each one of the little sections was a little more sparkly. So as I move the card back and forth, you can kind of see the sparkle that the Wink Estella pen adds. And here's a look at the final product. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.